Generating a presentation using ChatGPT is a, a rather simple task. Uh, the first thing we need to do is obviously head over to ChatGPT and generate an outline. Now, this can be about anything. So, for example, uh, right, we go ahead and hit enter. And now ChatGPT is going to go ahead and give us a 10 slide Google slide presentation outline. Now, so as you can see, we have a proper presentation title, we have slide one, slide two, so on and so forth. So we'll just wait for this to finish generating. Now, you do need to know that uh, even though there are options for you to use third party tools to get Google Sheets to generate entire presentations for you, along with designs and uh, templates and so on and so forth, you can do the entire process in ChatGPT itself as uh, i'm going to show you so we have now eight slides i'm going to have to wait for this to finish all right so now as you can see when it has finished uh, generation it's going to go ahead and ask you if you want to generate the actual presentation file or a shareable google slides link uh, i don't know but for some reason the google slide uh, link doesn't really seem to work quite often like if i go ahead and actually try it so uh, let's say give me a google slides link press enter now it's going to go ahead and try and do something and generate the link but uh, it doesn't usually work let's hope it works this time because then that would be easier than downloading a pptx and then going ahead and uploading so yeah here we go so instead of giving you a link it's going to go ahead and ask you uh, how to create the entire presentation and give you a like, step-by-step processes which is something we don't need so I'm going to stop the response. Uh, let's go ahead and tell it to give me the downloadable PPTX file. So give me the downloadable PPTX file and press enter. So now it's going to go ahead and type out the entire presentation in a PPTX file and that should be ready for us to download uh, in no time. So as you can see, this has now moved into this code editor view which is going to go ahead and generate the entire thing on a console so we're going to obviously go ahead and wait for it to finish all right here we go so the file has been generated and it shows up in chat so i can go ahead and download this pptx file and this says file not found okay let's go ahead and try again it says file not found again uh, the download isn't working let's see if it can give us something better it's going to regenerate the file and give us a fresh download link. Let's see if that works. All right, so we have a, a new download link. Let's go ahead and try this one out. And yep, it's working. So now we can download this PPTX file. Click on save, and then let's head back to Google Presentations. Upload a new file this time, the V2 that we got from ChatGPT, and this should work. All right, here we go. So now we have an entire presentation uh, in here. We're going to have to make some formatting changes to make sure that you get rid of all the dashes and the incorrect markdown. But your presentation is essentially here, but it doesn't look very good. So now what we're going to do is uh, make it a little easier on the eyes. So go ahead and click on this theme button that appears right here. Now this will open up a bunch of different themes for you to try out. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the import theme button to uh, go ahead and upload your own custom themes if that's what you're into. So uh, you can go ahead uh, to upload and upload your own theme. I'm just going to use one from this uh, selection. So let's go ahead with this one. And uh, now it's different. So now what we need to do is right select the slide, right click and then go ahead and take go to apply layout. And now you can get the right layouts in place. For example, if I click on title slides, you can see now that the title slide looks different and then I can go and apply layout. Uh, so this will be for example, section header. It goes like that, but it doesn't deal with the second uh, text box. So make sure that you're applying the adequate layout to the adequate thing. So now this way you can go ahead and apply all of your different layouts uh, according to what you want. So for example, I want section title and description here. So this gives me this layout, but my text is now on this side. 
and doesn't quite go well with the background font there so we can go ahead and uh, make sure that this is white so text color is going to become white and now you can see your text so this is how you can generate an entire presentation with uh, ChatGPT. Get it into Google Slides, apply any theme of your choice. For example, let's try changing the theme. As you can see, everything is now changed and it's different. And then, uh, of course, this is going to have to be changed so that the text color is all right. So yeah, with minimal edits, you'll get uh, a workable presentation. It's not going to set the world on fire. You will have to remap certain boxes you're going to have to insert your own images so for example if i go for stock and web let's just search for a car uh, yep this looks good so you're going to have to add your own images they still work to do but the basic outline of your presentation will be very easily created by just chat gpt and will give you a downloadable file that you can work with now when it comes to different tools that you can use, they can make the process slightly easier. For example, one tool that you can use is uh, the Magic Slides app, which is basically ChatGPT for slides. What this does is that you select this, head over to generate PPT. And now, as you can see, it's working in the background. So it's going to open up a new window uh, right here where I can generate an uh, entire presentation right inside Google Slides. So let's say generate a presentation for how fast cars have become go ahead and click on the generate uh, instant ppt button right at the bottom now it will ask you to select uh, through a template so we're going to go ahead and uh, select this one click on next now it will ask you the presentation length. So uh, you want a short, informative or a detailed one. Let's go for a short presentation type is going to be a uh, student project. Target audience is uh, whatever you want. Other select tone, confident, so on and so forth. You can go ahead and toggle if you want images for each slides and stuff. Click on generate, wait for a few minutes and uh, it will generate you a brand new presentation within Google Slides. So you can use both the methods. You can use just ChatGPT if you don't want to use any third party extensions. But if you do want to use them, there are also extensions available that can make your job easier. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Candido Technology, follow us on social media. And if these videos don't work out as well for you, do consider getting a membership. That's it for today and we'll see you in the next video.